From ag-related automation to beautiful natural resources, we're committed to advancing you and putting the region on the map. Green Seam is here to shape the future of agricultural, business, and communities where fertile land meets technology and people come together to feed the world. We are Green Seam. All right, well, welcome back to the Green Seam Show, where we spend a little time talking to one of our friends that works over at Comp Year Financial. And uh, Sam, I understand, right? First name, Sam? Yep, Sam Bennett. And uh, you're working at uh, doing accounts receivable. Is this correct? Payable. We're payable. Yep. Well, you explain yep. your job. Not an, uh, I so, don't need to explain it. Yeah, I've been working at Comp Year as an intern uh, since uh, November, so it's been about six or eight months. Um Working in the accounts payable department, uh, processing a lot of uh, compeers' bills and employee expense reports and other various projects. Very cool. And did you do an internship with them originally? This is an internship. This uh, is an internship. Yeah, so okay. I, as soon as I graduate, that'll be over. So I'll be working there until roughly December. Um, could maybe, then I'll be looking for an uh, actual job. So never know if that'll be at Compeer or anywhere else, but. So it's extended kind of an internship. I mean, not just what people think of as internship just being for the summer, but you're saying it's kind of almost going to be a year-long type of internship while you finish school off. Yeah, that was actually kind of what interested me. I was looking for something mostly in the summer, and they said as soon as you're available, um, you can work, you know, get used to it, work a few hours during the school year, and then until you graduate, you can uh, work a few months uh after the summer as well. So, so Compeer is really actually being really flexible that to keep you on during school, reduce, reduce some hours so you can still focus on school, but yet still learn hands-on experience. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's been, it's been great. I mean, last semester I worked, uh, well, I've been working about 40 hours during the summer here. And then last semester I worked like, uh, 16, I think maybe. And, probably work something close to that again next semester. They're just, uh, I think, happy to have uh, as much help as they can get. So they've been, yeah, they've been very flexible, which is nice. So tell us a little bit about setting that up as a internship situation, because that's not a normal internship situation. Uh, usually you're quick in, quick out, you get to sample the waters and then you're moving on. How did that process of setting this up work? And, and just teach me about it a little bit. Yeah. So I, I knew I had one summer left before I graduated, okay. so I was really just focused on um, getting experience in uh, finance, accounting, uh, something like that before I had to, before I graduated, and uh, my uncle works at Compeer, uh, so he told me, hey, why don't you check out uh, their website, you know, they've got some spots available for interns, and he said that, he kind of explained to me how the uh, situation worked how you'd get to work a little before and a little after as well and I was like I, do, I didn't have another like college job so it was like I, I could probably uh, spend some time um, working during the school year as well so I looked into it and got ex got offered the position and I took it and it's been going good so you found their found on the website and you applied to the website and and then did a full interview process Yep. And then there it is. And then the internship started. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. I mean, I think I applied and then, you know, within a week or two got it uh, interviewed. Then about a couple of days or a week after that got offered it and then another week or two and I started. So so how did the process of negotiating what this would look like? Because it is a unique situation, right? How did that process kind of work? Will you talk us through that? Yeah. Um, I think it was mostly just Compeer and how they kind of do their internships rather than... Uh, so they were unique in itself. I didn't really have to ask for um, if they would let me work, you know, extra during the school year or afterwards or whatever. And they just said, hey, um, this is, it's called a summer internship. So I'm, I've, I'm sure they'd be interested in hiring people that were just available in the summer because that's what the thing is. But they open it up to basically until you graduate. And like I said, in my case, since it was my last year, I figured I didn't have another summer to uh, find a different internship or something. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yeah, this interests me because um, I wasn't probably going to do any other work um, next semester if I wasn't doing this, um, especially like an internship or anything. So I was definitely interested in how 
they did their internships. So, so you're you're a senior right now at Gustavus, right? Yep. And yep. what's your degree? Uh, my degree will be in public accounting. Okay. Um, and um, after I got down that line, or I've been going down that line for a couple of years now, and uh, kind of thought that maybe public accounting isn't exactly what I want to do, but you can do a lot of stuff with a accounting degree. Mm-hmm. Sure. So uh, I decided to look more into the private businesses uh, and just working within their accounting or finance. And uh, that's how I got here at Comfier. Very cool. So you go back in time and you are looking at different internships, right? And your uncle says to you, hey, they've got some here. At that point, there must have been some other opportunities on the table, right? Why did you pick this in little tiny Mankato out of all the places that you could go and go explore? Explain that to me. Yeah. I mean, I grew up around Mankato within a half hour or so. And I went to, uh, going to college at Gustavus, which is in St. Peter, you know, yeah. so only 15 15 miles or so. And I, I just know I've for a while I've wanted to stay in the area yeah. and, uh, but there are still other opportunities in Mankato. Um, and I was kind of looking at those. Um, if you do a public accounting internship, uh, a lot of those are in the spring. So you won't actually, uh, cause that's their busy season. So you won't actually be taking classes. So I wasn't sure how I wanted to, uh, mess with my actual schooling. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, honestly, I didn't look at that many other private ones, and my uncle just kind of led me to this one after I saw, like, I'm not sure if I want to do these spring ones. Uh, and he said, well, here's a summer one, and I took a look at it and thought it was, you know, something that would be of interest, and there you go. And now here you are. Yeah. So what's been the big aha moment, right? So you're, what, you said a year and a half? How, how far into the internship are you? Uh, since November, so about... Eight months or so. About eight months into it. What's been the big aha to those last eight months? I guess just that it's my, I mean, I've worked a bunch of different jobs in previous summers. Yeah. Um, and this was my first one in like a office. Yep. And uh, I kind of felt like I wanted to, you know, use my mind rather than my body to work. And uh, so I guess my big aha was just that this, I think this actually is kind of what I, would rather do work uh, in a in finance or accounting inside of a company rather than other things. Very cool. That's cool. I mean, I like that aha thing, right? It's like you got in there, you sit down. The 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 group. The machine you. is working around you. Yeah. Yep. And now all of a sudden you're involved with the machine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And how does how does that playing out with you as an intern? I mean, what? They just don't have you filing papers, do they? No, no. yeah. Okay. Um, Good. My, my, yeah. But they can't throw you right into the deep end. No, my team has been uh, great. Uh, we have uh, me and another intern, and then um, I think five or six other teammates uh, t- in our group. And um, we're doing the same work that they're doing a lot of the time. Uh, just uh, they, you know, give us a portion that they think is – maybe on the easier side or just a uh, kind of like a bulk uh, project. Yeah, yeah. That'll take more time and, but it's the same thing that they're doing. So it's like, I'm, I, you are really getting to experience um, it, what it would be like to work there. It's not that much uh, intern stuff. Like, you know, you see, you're not getting just, coffee every day or no. having to polish the shoes of the boss. Mm-hmm. Or, no, I do go get the mail every day, but that's not too yeah. bad. It sounds like a sweet Sometimes job. it's nice to get out of the office yeah, to Yeah, exactly. The mail. Come yeah. in for the mail. <laughs> yep. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, it's been a very uh, inclusive uh, within the group. Like you're an actual employee there, not just like an intern. So. You, you, you know, going back to Gustavus <clears throat> and your other classmates, would you encourage them to look at ag and ag finance and, you know, as an opportunity to take an internship, but rather than maybe what they thought? Yeah, I mean, if they don't think... Uh, the public accounting route is for them, but they're already, uh, you know, a ways down the line, mm-hmm. uh, which is kind of, I think, what happened to me. I mean, I think I might still have done accounting regardless, but uh, that's kind of where I was a ways down the line and thought, eh. Um, but yeah, I definitely think you could do this. And like for me, I said, I grew up in the area and, you know, agriculture is a big, big part of the area. Yep. And uh, kind of getting to work there, I was like, 
I, cause I never, you know, I didn't grow up on a farm or didn't, um, ever plan on being part of like farming, but then you get to here and it's like, Oh, well now I'm actually, you know, kind of doing work in agriculture, even in the office. Like I said, I kind of wanted to, so it's kind of cool. Is, is that internship also giving you a little opportunity to explore like what type of accounting or what type of finance that might interest or do you, you know, is that where you want to be maybe is in the accounts payable or you want to explore and try other opportunities? Yeah. I mean, I've mostly been in accounts payable, but I've seen, uh, you know, the other ways that other people or the other things that other people do in their different teams a little bit. And, uh, I've enjoyed what I've been doing, but I do think that I would be maybe interested in, um, checking out other departments, but that's just, just to kind of see, you know, I said this was my first, uh, office job or finance job. And I, uh, just would like to see, you know, kind of, uh, where else you can use yeah, your mind else? instead of yeah. your body. Yeah. 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 There you go. Mm-hmm. yeah. Like that. exactly. That's a good point. Yeah. Farming's not all, or an ag's not all about just using your strength, right? Yeah. It's about using the mind and, and, and now as time goes on, it only gets more and more and more like that. Right. So, more automation equals. If more you could, could give us one um, kind of takeaway to the internship, something that you wish that you would have known at the beginning of it, right? Well, what would that be? And this is probably the last question here. Um, what would something, if you could go back on day one and you go, hey, you should really know this. Don't be as nervous. Don't, you know, tell that dude he's ugly, right? I don't know what it is, right? But uh, what would that be on day one? I would just say um, probably realize that these other people in your that you're working with kind of want to work with you you know like I was a little I mean you never know starting a new job you might not have the best co-workers or not have the most uh, want to work with you but a lot of them have been very uh, open to teamwork and other stuff and it's just like uh, yeah be open to that as well know that uh, it's a kind of a group effort it's not just what you're not just going to be sitting at your computer all day just doing your own things. Doing doing your own things. Um, wrap it up with this. Who is the ideal client for Compier Financial, right? So now that you've been in their system, you know a little bit about who they are and what they're doing. Um, who are, who's the ideal client for them? Uh, they've, they're open to, honestly, like every farmer. Um, uh, I think the main portion is they give away give a lot of loans and uh I know that they're trying to uh give loans to all sorts of uh farmers not just the big farms or not just the small farms uh but they also do want to help the small farmers stay alive they don't want to you know not have that they don't want that to go away so yeah so the so the ideal person is if you need a loan come visit if come visit you guys I I would think so yeah. rural right. rural community vitality yeah I think they yeah. talk about quite often yeah it's definitely uh, r- r- uh, rules uh, I guess we're in Wisconsin southern Minnesota Illinois. and uh, Illinois yeah so uh, loans to any and all in between I guess <laughs> there you go well thank you so much for spending a little time with us Sam this was totally fun to hear from you and uh, get some insight about your uh, extended 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 internship and hopefully uh, very soon a, a real full-time job so thanks thank Sam. you so much yeah thank Thanks-a- you guys thank you Later.